It's spring break. Spring break, everyone. I am so excited. Spring break 2021. And one of the things I love so much about spring break is getting a chance to create a stack of books that I want to read. And I never, ever, ever get through the stack of books that I want to read. But it's so much fun to make. It's so much fun to reprioritize my to read list and to think about what uh, I might read and the possibilities that I have. I know I won't get to it. There'll be no disappointment if I don't. If I read five books, great. If I read two books, great. If I only finish a book and a half, well, maybe not. That's not so great. But uh, looking forward to reading, looking forward to prioritizing the to read list. Let me know what book you're planning on reading on your spring break or your weekend or whatever break you are looking forward to. This is my stack. One, two, three. I think there's seven books here on the stack. I'll leave a list down in the description below so you can have a look at it when you get a chance if you want, if you, if you want to write down some of these titles. First up, The Beatrice Prophecy by two-time Newbery medalist Kate Camillo, by two-time Call the Cop medalist, illustrated by two-time Call the Cop medalist Sophie Blackall. I, I am actually 100 pages in, so I already had a pretty good head start. It's amazing. This girl, Beatrice, is so interesting and this new kid just walked into the story and he's really I'm really curious about him and there's this wild goat that Beatrice is super tight with that is kind of terrible to all the monks and it's just it's just amazing I'm that you kind of like so there's this prophecy that this um the king will like bad things will happen to the king I don't want to get into it um at the hands of you're thinking as a reader Beatrice and Beatrice uh, shows up at the at the place with the mucks and she is like bloody and things aren't going well she's just distraught and when she comes to all she know remembers is her name that's it doesn't remember like anything so I'm pretty curious to see what's gonna happen and uh, pretty worried about Beatrice but I'm loving it she's an amazing kid this book is super fun Look at that goat. All right, that's gonna be book number one. Uh, this novel in verse, Starfish, so many people have been talking about it. I, I, don't, I don't know who is, how this is happening, but like people keep asking me if I've read this and you need to read this, you need to read this, you need to read this. It's usually a good sign. So I'm gonna read this I actually because everyone kept talking about it. I read the first 33 pages and I'm not gonna lie. It's really sad at the beginning. Like, uh, it's really sad to me that people, the way that people treat other people based on things like their weight and their size and the effect that that can have on people, even as young as like five years old. I'm not saying that that's the youngest, but that was the example that I'm taking from the book. So I'm really excited that this will probably be book either two or book three, but I'm definitely, I, I really want to get this one read over break. Next up is War and Millie McGonigal by Newbery medalist Karen Cushman. This is probably gonna be book two because I'm so excited about this. Right after spring break, uh, I am gonna get a chance to talk with Karen Cushman. Like I get to be part of this event uh, for the book launch of this. So I probably should read the book first. I'll put the, the, the link to that chat down in the description as well in case you're interested in joining us for that. I think it's like April 4th. 5th or 6th, whatever that Tuesday is, 4th, 6th, I think. Yeah, I think it's the 6th. So I'm really excited to uh, read this book. It looks like we have a little bit of a World War II. I love like the cover, like the perspective, like from behind her. I'm guessing that's Millie. And Jennifer Holm left a blurb on the front. And I'm a big Jennifer Holm fan. So very, 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 very excited to read this. And it is like my sweet spot. It's like 210 page middle grade. And I'm going to be reading my students a historical fiction novel after spring break as well. And this one, maybe, maybe, maybe it could, uh, maybe it could join my rotation of historical fiction books. I, I always love reading new books aloud to my students and trying something new. All right, next up, Flight of the Puffin. A lot of people, a lot of buzz. This book, this book comes out in May, but a lot of people have got some advanced copies. A lot of buzz around this. A lot of buzz, a lot of people love Anne's first book. A lot of people love Nancy Paulson. I'm excited, so need to read this one as well. I notice I have a lot of books that are like exactly the same length, uh, but and that's my sweet spot right there. So I'm really excited to try this one out as well. This was on my, like, this has been on my to read list for a while, so I really need to get this one read because I 
haven't yet, but that, this is a book like I know for a fact I will read this book this year, like 100% this book will be read by me. Next up, uh, I know nothing about this, Healer of the Water Monster by Brian Young. So I met Brian Young in his work in this book that I recently finished, and uh, there's a book talk on this on my channel, uh, called Ancestor Approved, Intertribal Stories for Kids, this amazing anthology written um, by a bunch of amazing Native writers. You should pause the video and screenshot that. Uh, but so I read this and it's part of this new imprint of HarperCollins called Heart Drum. And this is another book that's part of that. So I'm really excited to to check this out. And the cover, the cover drew me in. With electric adventure and powerful love, Brian Young's debut novel tells a seemingly order tells of a seemingly ordinary boy who realizes he's a hero at heart. Right? You know you want to read it. One of my favorite authors in the history of the universe, the universe, Barbara O'Connor, the BOC, Halfway to Harmony, another one that I need to read. I just have yet. Another one right there, too, the sweet spot, 230 pages. I'll definitely read this one as well. Um, hopefully on spring break, but if not, definitely before school ends. And one big book, because you always need one big book on a break, especially when you have time. Look at this. Look at this one. 520 some pages. Laura Amy's latest, Amber and Clay, the people at Candlewick are talking, talking good things about this, saying good things, have me thinking it's going to be amazing. It's long, but I have time. So she's got a Newbery medal. She's got a Newbery honor. Everything she writes is gold or silver. She's an amazing creator and I'm excited. So uh, let me know which one of these books sounds great to you. Do any of these? What would you read first? What would you read second? What would you read? Huh? What would you know? I want to know. What would you read? So I'm so excited. I hope you have some great books on your reading list whenever it is that you get a chance to take a break. If I've learned anything these last 13 months is that we need a break and we need to take some time for ourselves and get lost in a great story. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy spring break. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.